Yeah, very uh, good morning and welcome from us here at Toaster Racecourse. Uh, we have uh, an eight-race card, matinee card for you today. First race, 10.06, and the uh, last race uh, ending at 12.04. Uh, pleased to tell you at the uh, time of Kellen, there are no non-runners. Clear card today. There are no non-runners for the uh, meeting today. So that uh, will be getting underway at uh, 10.06, our very first race. A clear card, betting up on the screen. As you can see, you can have a bet on the toad as well with the bookmakers down in the main ring. And uh, our first race is just uh, right about 10 minutes away for race number one. Have a great day with us here at Toaster. And remember, we've got a great meeting tonight, of course, the uh, final of the Lau the Stakes, uh, the graded derby, two semi-finals, plus uh, five, op uh, five open races as well. Cracking card tonight. And uh, we'll be getting underway very soon here.
a very warm uh, morning with us here at Toaster. Our first of eight races today sees the Telo 6 grade uh, A7. Bet each way, one, two, three on the dogs at uh, eight dog racing stakes. Here we go. Here's the runners. Track number one is uh, Townstar Kenya. Townstar Kenya was a winner last week, owned by the Townstown Syndicate uh, team. And Paul Clark is the uh, trainer. The weight is 32 kilos. Trap two is Holden Vin. Holden Vin for the sporting uh, greats team. Jonathan Blenko trains. Weight of the blue, 33-4. Three next is Twiggy, Twiggy Delight for Mark Lowther, and Steve Rayner is the trainer of this bitch, and the weight of Twiggy is 24-4. Four is Macaroon Matt for the Boom Plain Syndicate team, Jim Reynolds is the trainer, weight of Macaroon is 32.2. Trap five is Victoria Lane, Mark Lowther is the owner, Steve Rayner trains, and the weight of Victoria Lane is 24.8. Six is Ballybrack uh, Bolt uh, for Richard Yates, who owns and trains this bitch, and the weight of the six is 26.6. Seven is Copeland Story for Mr. S. Thompson, Kevin Hutton's pair in the last uh, two. Uh, Copeland Rory's uh, weight is 36.5. And eight is Creative Thinker, owned by Mr. M. Smith, uh, trained by Kevin Hutton, and the weight of the eight is 28.1. They're the runners contesting uh, our very first race uh, this morning. It is uh, due off at uh, 10.06, 10.06. We have around right about five minutes left for betting, five minutes to the off. This is how the bookmakers uh, see race number one. Uh, trap one is Townsville Kenya, who I mentioned was a winner uh, last Saturday, won by four and a half lengths in a grade of uh, a... Uh, eight, a seven goes up a grade uh, for that, looking for win number 20. Two Holden Vin is a seven to two chance. That's uh, trained by Jonathan Blenko. Uh, Twiggy Delight for Mark Lowther and Steve Rayner. And Twiggy's odds are five to one. Macaroo Matt for Jim Reynolds, uh, JR's runner. Macaroo Matt is on offer at uh, five to one. Victoria Lane in the five for Steve Rayner. has got a couple in here, Steve, member three and five. Uh, this one, Victoria Lane is put in at uh, four to one. Stripes of Bally Black Bolt. Richard Yates is runner, uh, and that one is a six to one chance. The seven in the uh, green, that's uh, Kevin Hutton's runner, and uh, that is priced up at seven to one. And the yellow and black halves of uh, the eight creative thinker is on offer at four to one. So down the card it reads uh, five, seven to two, five, five, four, six, seven, and uh, four to one, trap eight. We have two minutes left for betting, two minutes to the off. Uh, changes, not many. Five to one, one, seven to two, two, five to one to three, and the four. Uh, trap five at four to one, six at six, and the bottom pair, seven, is seven to one, and eight is fours.
Here we go, the runners about to enter the starting trap. Our first of eight today. So getting loaded up in the boxes, pretty static in the betting market. Five, seven, a two, five, five, four, six, seven, and four. Gemma Asada today for the uh, first today. First of uh, eight races here on this Matterday morning. 26th of August, we're ready to roll. It's a bet each way. One, two, three on at the eight dog racing stakes. Here we go. Race one, they're set. Favourite in blue, Holden Vincent, race in and away, misses it too. Good team by seven, though. Copeland Rory leads the five early. That is uh, Victoria Lane. Seven goes on now to Holden Vin. The favourite has gone second. They're followed by next in the queue, Victoria Lane. Victoria Lane is then followed by Bally Black Bolt, and they're being followed by the eight. That's Creative Thinker. Down towards the third bend, and the present time here, the one that's gone on here is now uh, Copeland Rory. So Copeland Rory now goes on here in the green colours, out in front leading from the favourite Holden Vin. Holden Vin's trying to get there right to the line. Seven beats two and five, and then eight, four, three, one, and six at the back. So confirmation of our first race today here at Tatosa's victory for seven, Copeland Rory. Copeland Rory wins, Mr. S. Thompson and Kevin Hunt, the winning trainer. Second was trapped two, Holden Vin, and third was five, Victoria Lane. There's the replay and the very fast start in seven. Copeland Rory set him up at a good pace here when they ran the second corner. Holden Vin managed to get round in second, the favourite. And you see the seven, two, five numbers are in first, second and third here. And that's exactly how they finished. Uh, good for running in late doors was uh, these um, at one stage of six. That just dropped back to tamely through the pack, hopefully okay. But meanwhile, two tried to get there, but it's a victory for the seven. And Copeland Rory wins its 11th race. Uh, seven beat two and five in third. More details to follow. Yes, in the closing stages of the replay of race number one, uh, Copeland Rory made uh, every yard this uh, greyhound trained by Kevin Hutton and Mr. S. Thompson, the winning owner, goes on to win its 11th race on its CV and uh, does it well. Now, the full order finish for race number one, read like this. It was 7, 2, 5, 8, 3, 4, 1, 6. That's 7, 2, 5, 8, 3, 4, 1, 6. The margins were ahead, 1 and 3 quarters, 1 and a half, 2 and a half, ahead, 2 and a half, and 3. That's a head, one and three quarters, one and a half, two and a half head, two and a half and three. Winner's time of the winner, Copeland Rory, 28.75, 28.75. Copeland Rory winning our first race in seven at seven to one. Beat Holden Vin, the favourite, who was second at seven to two. And trap third, five was third, Victoria Lane. That was third at four to one. Race number one here at Toaster.
Here we go. Runners on parade for race number two. Here's the bet with the three, six, five stakes. And here are the runners. Track one is uh, Balio uh, Vuga for uh, Mr. M. Gregori and Mr. Steve Rayner. Steve Rayner is a trainer. And the weight of trap one is 36 kilos. Trap two is uh, Brave Echo, uh, Bra Bravo Echo. Bravo Echo is owned by Mr. L. Curl. Kevin Hutton, who had the last winner, is a trainer. And the weight of the blue, 27-2. Trap three in the white is musical Lulu. Mr. S. Taylor is the owner. Jim Reynolds trains this bitch, and the weight of Lulu is 27.3. Four next is Energized Jack for Mr. Uh, J. Davis and Mrs. J. Davis. Mark Wallace, one of three runners for Mark today, and Energized uh, Jack's weight is 32.4. Trap five next, Craftsman's Boys for Mr. Jay Kelly. Hazel Kemp is the trainer, and the weight of the five is 32.6. Stripe Jacket next of uh, Always Eager for the Cloudy Day Syndicate team, and Richard Yates trains, and the weight of uh, Trap Six, Always Eager, is 31 kilos. Uh, seven is Mickey the Butcher next for the Sandbacks, uh, Mr. P and Mrs. C. Mark Wallace is the trainer, and the weight of the seven is 35 kilos. Trap eight is uh, Tiffield Lad for Mr. W. McColl and Mrs. J. McColl. Mark Wallace is third runner in the race, and the weight of the eight is 36.5. There are the uh, eight runners contesting race number two. It is the 10.24 here at Toaster. It is due off in around about three minutes' time, and this is how the bookmakers see it. Uh, Bally Vo Vuga in trap number one. Finished fourth last time out. Steve Rayner's runner has won three times, five to one the price. Trap 2, Bravo Echo, is owned by Mr. L. Curl and uh, Kevin Hutton, uh, who's had a winner. 6-1 to one chance. Musical Lulu in 3 at 4-1 to one for JR. Energized Jack uh, for Mark Wallace, 6-1, to one, one of his three runners, 6-1 to one price. Craftsman's Boy in the 5, next door neighbours also 6s. The 6, always eager. Don't like the devil's sign, but it's come up in the betting. 4, 5 and 6, all at 6s. Uh, looking for win number 6, funny enough, always eager. Mickey the Butcher's won 10 races, the most winning in the grand in the race. Has won 10 for Mark Wallace, and is 7-1 to one is the price. And the bottom one, Tiffield Lad, who's a winner of six races, no less. Last one back on the uh, 22nd of July in A5. And it is priced up at two to one bottle favourite. So down the card, five, six, four, six, 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 seven, and two to one favourite in the yellow and black halves. We'll be long now here at uh, Tosa, but in uh, five to one, trap one, two at six, three at four to one, four at six, five and six, all at six to one. No changes in the betting market. Seven to one, Mickey. And Tiffield Lad is the favourite at two to one. Won't be long. Here we go. Runners have been tucked away in the boxes here for race number two here at Toast. A bet with the 365 stakes. So bet we bet 365 stakes. Here we go. Gemma weighs the flag. We're ready to go. The favourite is in the eight here at the yellow and black halves. Tiffield Lad for Mark Wallace, who's got three runners in the race. Here we go. A5, the grade four bend action. We're set to go. Ready? 
Racing and away. Good start by Mickey the Butcher in seven out very wide. Leads the favourite Diffield lad. On the inside, Bravo Echo is up there and now seven goes on. Deja vu from the first race here. Mickey the Butcher here at the price for Mark Wallace leads him here. Now getting a run is Tiffield lad out very wide in the blue vessel. Bravo Echo is there at bend number three. Still seven though. Mickey the Butcher is going to try and see him off here. Mark Wallace's other runner. Tiffield lad the favourite runs on now. Then comes to Bravo Echo and up to the line here. Mickey the Butcher for win number 11. It's a seven, uh, eight and and in third is the tight for third, but no doubt about the winner. Two races gone, both trapped sevens. Mickey the Butcher wins here for Mike Wallace. Here we go. Let's see the replay of race number two here. The bet with bet 365 stakes and another good early start here by Mickey the Butcher in those uh, green vests today. It's been a, a good vest so far. Uh, two races gone, two trap sevens have made all. Here, though, Bravo Echo, the old uh, police dog, tried to run on eight, though Tiffield Lad was there. Also running on late doors was uh, Balivo uh, Vuga. And as they went round the top curve, one bend to go, Mickey the Butcher. Looking for that 11th win on its CV. The kennel made in Tiffield Lad put it down at late doors at 7 at 8. In the end, one. Ballyho uh, Bally Vuga nabbed the bronze. 7 8 1 in race number two. You see the uh, closing stages, the last couple of bends of uh, race number two and a very early start of Mickey the Butcher. That's the second of the green or the puce colours uh, jackets have got in today. Mark Wallace had three in the race. He had the favourite in eight. Seven has gone on to beat his other runner. And in third place, that was Steve Rayner's Bally Ho Vuga in third. So the full order finish for race number two red. It was seven, eight, one, two, three, five, four, six. Seven, eight, one. Two, three, five, four, six. The margins were one and three quarters, one and a half a neck, one length short head, one and a half and a head. That's one and three quarters, one and a half a neck, one length short head, one and a half and a head in a time of 28.60, 28.60. The winner, Mickey the Butcher, winning at odds of seven to one uh, for Mr. P and Mrs. C. Uh, Sandback. Uh, Mark Wallace, a winning trainer. Second ground was Tiffield Ladd. That was the two-to-one favourite. And third gear uh, was for the Tricast Trap number one, Bally Ho Vuga, at odds of five to one. 28.60 was the time of Mickey the Butcher, who wins its 11th race.
go. We're up to race number three here at Tosa. This is a bet with uh, Paddy Power online and in shop stakes over the 480 metres A8, the grade here at the runners. Trap one is Duckleton Bell, owned by Mr. G. Hazel, Mr. C. Richards, Mr. Uh, Mr. D. Styles, and Mr. A. Ware. Kevin Allen, who's had a winner, is the trainer, and the weight of Ducklington Bell is 29.6. Trap two next is Razor de Monet for the House of Razor team. Kevin Hutton is the trainer, winner last week, this uh, bitch. And the weight of the blue is 27.3. Crinkle K in three for Mr. P. Cobb and Jim Reynolds. Uh, this bitch's weight, Crinkle K, is 27.7. Four next is Matt's Limit. Matt's Limit for Mr. R. Flounders and Gene Lyles. Weight of Matt's Limit is 26.4. Five next is Latte. Latte is owned by Mr. J. Kelly and Mrs. Hazel Kemp. Hazel Kemp is the trainer, and the weight of Latte is 29.3. Uh, trap six, Ella Golden. Ella Golden winner, uh, was second uh, last week uh, for Miss E. Hall. Jim Reynolds is the trainer. Jim's got a couple of runners in this race. Ella Golden's weight is uh, 27.3. Seven is Dunham Rio from Dave Hufton and Jane Hufton, and uh, this uh, Greyhound is weight is 33.4. And Nippy Bell in the eight. For George and Cole's go and get them team, Gene Lowe trains this bitch, and the weight of Nippy Bell is 26.3. They are the eight runners contesting uh, race number three. This is the 10.43. It is uh, due off in four minutes' time. Four minutes left for betting. Right, the bookmakers see it like this. Trap number one, Ducklington Bell is a five to one chance, has won, what, seven races in its career, Ducklington and uh, is trained by Kevin Hunt, who's had a winner. Razor de Monet is a four to one chance. Kevin Hunt's got two in the race, is uh, four to one Razor. Crinkle K is five to one for Jim Reynolds. Jim's got a couple as well. Crinkle K in trap three at five. Matt's limit is a seven to one chance in trap four for Jean Lyles. Jean's got a pair in this race as well. She's got uh, the four Matt's limit at seven. Latte in five for Hazel Kemp. Uh, put in the betting uh, ring at four to one. Uh, Ella Golden, who was second behind Townsville Kanye last week, is the favourite at three to one for Jim Reynolds. Dun and Rio, the only uh, boy in the race here, and Dun and Rio's uh, trained by Jane Hifton, and the uh, price is on offer at six to one. We've had two green jackets win so far, and the eight in the yellow and black halves, six to one chance. Nippy Bell for Jean Lyles. As I mentioned, Jean's got the four and the eight in this race. So down the card, five, four, five, seven, four, three, six, and six. Runners on their way to all to start. It won't be too long now. We have round about three minutes left for betting. Here we go, won't be too long here. Uh, down the card, five to one, trap one, four to one, two, trap three at five, uh, four at seven, uh, trap five at four to one. Favourite uh, Ella Golden in the stripes at threes, six to one to seven, and six to one, trap eight. Static in the market.
Here we go. Last one's been tucked away in the boxes here for race number three here at Toaster of the Eight. This is Bet with Paddy Power on online in shop stakes. Gemma checks us over. We're ready to roll here. Favourite is Trap Six, Ella Golden. Second last week. Here comes the money. They're ready. Racing and away. Another pretty good start by seven. Four's leading them here. Matt's limit. Four goes on. Seven's leaning. Three comes running around Crinkle K. Crinkle K goes on. And seven is bang there, though. Dun and Rio as well for Jane Hoofton. Round they go. Three, seven, one and eight. Then four, two, five. And right at the back six. Seven's now trying to put it down large. Dun and Rio looking for win number three. He's taken over. So three lucky sevens. Could it be? We'll see. Dun and Rio now draws away. It is the three lucky sevens. Seven wins. Three second type for third in the end but Dun and Rio has gone on to win win race number three and has won his third race too There we go. We're seeing the uh, replay. Uh, got out really well done on Rio. Didn't lead, though, because four, Matt's limit did. And four was the one that led him round for a while. But in the end, this is where seven put it down with Crinkle K. Crinkle K in the white. One, Ducklington Bell was always on the scene there as well in third. And the eight ran on Nippy Bell as they went round to the top curve. And this is where Dun and Rio went on and took the lead. So it's been a lucky trap number today, the sevens. Did they go through the card? What do you think? Seven wins it, three second. Third in the end has gone to trap six, Ella Golden. 736 in race number three. Here we go now the uh, full order finish for race number three the uh, 1043 red like this it was seven three six five one eight two four seven three six five one eight two four uh, the margins were two and three quarters one length short head a neck three and three quarters three and two and a half uh, two and three quarters one length a short head a neck three and three quarters three and two and a half the winner Dun and Rio goes on to win at odds of uh, six to one in trap number seven Jane Hoofton gets our first winner today at uh, second uh, Graham was trapped three crinkle K at five to one and Ella Golden was third at three to one favorite winner's time was a 28.91 in race number three
We're up to race number four here at Toaster for this Saturday morning. It's a 10.58, the grade is A9. Bet with William here online and in shop stakes. Here they are. Track one is uh, Tournoy Trendy. Tournoy Trendy is owned by Wendy Richards, trained by Paul Clark. And the weight of Tournoy Trendy is 28.4. Track two next in the blue is Spangles for Mr. Uh, G. Can and Mr. M. Walker. Jonathan Blenko trains. Spangles weight in blue, 30.6. White vest next of Run Buddy Run for Wendy Richards, who is the owner. Paul Clark trains, second run of the race for Paul. And the rate uh, weight of trap number three is 34.9. Kerry Road Fifi in trap number four for Mr. Pete Cobb and Jim Reynolds. Uh, weight of Fifi in the black vest is 25.3. Shoemaker's Jack in five for George Coles and the Go and Get em team. Gene Lowes is the trainer. And the weight of Jack in the five is 32.2. Six is Dunham Zeus for Dave Hoofton and Jane Hoofton. Jane just had the last race winner. And the weight of trap six, Dunham Zeus, is 32 kilos. Seven is Grafton Oak for Steve Dimmock and Heather uh, Dimmock. And the weight of Grafton is uh, 33.6. And trap eight is Blakefield Becky. Chinese Dave Siddick could own this bitch. Kevin Hutton, he's had a winner, is the trainer. And the weight of uh, Becky in the uh, eight is 27.5. They're the runners contesting uh, race number four. It is due off at uh, 10.58. have a couple of minutes left for betting here. Here's the betting uh, with the bookies now. Six to one, trap one. Trap two uh, is our favourite at five to two here, Spangles. As uh, one one race on its CV. Uh, eight to one, run, buddy, run. Carry for Fifi is six to one. It is seven to one, Shoemaker's Jank. Dunham Zeus at seven to two. Grafton Oak in the green at threes. And it's Blakefield Becky, seven to one chance. Six five to two eight, six seven, seven to two, three and seven the prices. Won't be too long now here at Toaster for race number four. Runners about to uh, enter the starting traps. In they go for uh, our fourth race. Favourite is Spangles in the blue. Gemma's about to check over the eight. All clear signal by Gemma. Race four, we're ready to go. It's bet with William Hill online and in-shop stakes. Favourite is Spangles in the blue. At five to two. Here comes the bunny. Three races gone, three trap sevens. Racing and away, missed it the eight. Good start by one on the inside, Tornaroy Trendy. Two's bang there, Spangles the favourite. Oh, there is a bit of trouble. And a one gets shuffled back, Tornaroy Trendy. Up front, though, as they go, four. Kerry Road Fifi now goes on. She leads a pack. Spangles is in second. They're being chased next in the queue. Eight runs on, Blakefield Becky. Round they go, top curve and four at the moment. We'll see them off here. Kerry Road Fifi, she's looking for win number four for JR. Here's the eight, Blakefield Becky. Up to the line, four from eight, who's trying. Four has beaten eight, and third goes to two. Two, four, eight, and two in race number four. Kerry Road Fifi wins her fourth race for Jim Reynolds. Here we go. Let's see the replay of race number four here. The bet with William Hill online in shop stakes. Good early start. Well, seven was up there again. Grafton Oak. We had three trap sevens, but here there's just a bit of traffic problems and battered was one. Tornaroy Trendy. 
Hopefully OK uh, Wendy's run up. But up front, though, it's four who went on. Kerry Fofifi, uh, she led him here at Ben 3. Two, eight come late uh, doors, Blakeville Becky. Uh, also, just slightly checked there, Shoemaker's Jack was trying to make headway. Back in fourth place there, but as they raced to the line, it was four who went on to her. Eight did uh, put it down late doors. Then it was two and five Shoemakers back in fourth. The result was a four, eight and two in race number four. Kerry Fifi wins for Jim Reynolds. Now, the uh, full order finish for race uh, number four, the 10.58 red like this. It was a four eight two five one uh, five seven six three one. That is four eight two five seven six three one. The margins were three quarters, five lengths, a half, one and three quarters, one, eight, five and a quarter. Three quarters, five, half a length, one and three quarters, one, eight and five and a quarter. The winner's time of Kerry Road Fifu one was a 29.18, 29.18 full result. And the uh, SPs, Kerry Road Fifi wins in trap four for Jim Reynolds and wins at six to one for Mr. P. Cobb. Second ground was Blakefield Becky at seven to one. Spangles in blue was the favourite at odds of five to two. That was race number four here at Toaster.
Here we go, runners ready for race number five. This is the best odds guaranteed on the Borgsfall Tap Stakes, and this is over the sprint trip for the eight runners, 260 metres, uh, grade D3. What, uh, runners, one, Penny's Mountain, owned by Colin Crichton and Jean Lyles. Jean Lyles is the trainer, and the weight of Penny's is 33.7. Two is Chantilly in red, but in blue for Richard Yates, and Richard Yates owns and trains, and the weight of Chantilly is 24.5. Rahula Moon in trap three, Dave Hifton and Jane Hifton team up. Already had a winner as Jane, and the weight of this bitch's uh, weight is 28.4. Drum Crow Joey in uh, four for Colin Crichton and Gene Lyles. Uh, weight of Joey in the black vest, 30 kilos. Tau Star Sasha in uh, trap five for the Tau Star Syndicate team, and Paul Clark is the trainer. And the weight of trap number five is 26.8. Uh, in trap number six, Stanley Side Eagle for uh, Miss uh, Jay Suthers. And Jim Reynolds uh, is the trainer. Jim had the last race winner. And this bitch, uh, Stanley Side Eagle, uh, weight is 28.9. Seven is not your dog, uh, Ray, is the seven, owned by Mr. Jake Cross and Richard Yates. Richard Yates is the trainer. And the weight of the seven is 31 kilos. And trap eight is pure paradise. Jim Reynolds is the owner and the trainer of this bitch, and Pure Paradise's weight is 28.8. There, the eight runners contesting uh, sprint off time, getting away under at 11.13. There are a couple of minutes left for betting. Uh, here's how they bet. Uh, trap one, Penny's Mountain, six to one. Chantilly in red in the blue is the favourite at three to one. Three to one for Richard Yates, who owns and trains. Rahula Moon in, trap three, is four. Strum Crow Joey, sixes. Toastar Sasha in the orange at six to one. Setting aside Eagle at eleven to two. Not your dog Ray is on offer at seven to two. And Pure Paradise is a six to one chance. The runners on their way towards the start, betting down the card, six three four, at uh, six six, eleven to two, seven to two, and six to one. Here we go. Last of the runners getting tucked away here for the best odds guaranteed on the Boyle Sports Snap Stakes. So Gemma just making sure that those greyhounds have turned. So all clear signal. <laughs> Well done, Gemma. Thoroughly checked over. We're ready to go for the sprint time here. 11.13. Take just under 16 seconds. Here comes the bunny. 
They're ready, set, racing. Good start by three. Rahula Moo leads them early doors. Fours bang there, Drum Crow Joey. Three, four, lead round. Five gets a run now, Toastar Sasha. Turning for home now. Rahula Moon out in front for Jane Hoofton. Looking for a second winner. Three from five, then six and four. Up to the line, three from five. Three beats five, six in third. Three, Rahula Moon goes on the win. Jane Hoofton doubles up. Wins race number five and has now won nine times Rahula Moon in the white. Here we go. Let's see the replay of race number five here. And a very early start of Rahula Moon. The early pace won the race here. Four was there. Drumco Joey tried to get round in second, but five's run well. Toastar Sasha. Round they went. Three leading five and six. So Rahula Moon out in front. It's win number nine on the CV. Beating the five, six in third and tight for third. fourth place. Drumco Joey might just get that one, but Rahula Moon wins and Jane Hoofton and Dave get the double up. Here we go, the full order finish for race uh, number five, uh, red like this. It was 356 The margins were one length, one and three quarters, one and a quarter, short head, half, a head, and one and a quarter. That's one length, one and three quarters, one and a quarter, short head, half, head, and one and a quarter. A winner's time was 15.59, 15.59. The winner, Rahula Moon, goes on to win. The Hoofton and Jane Hoofton team up. Second winner for them. A starting price of the winner was returned at 4-1. to one. Tosar Sasha was second at 6-1. to one. And Sunnyside Eagle in the stripes was third at 11-2. to two. Three, five, six, four, six, and 11-2. to two. Chantilly in red in the blue was the favourite at 3-1. to one.
Here we go. We're up to race number six of the eight here this morning. Coming up for the 11.29, it's A7 the great. Bet with your local independent bookmaker stakes, and here they are. Truck one is uh, Lady in Ted. Lady in Ted owned by Mr. Jay Barney. Hazel Kemp is the trainer. The weight of Bar uh, in Ted in one is 33.6. Uh, Dunham Amy Amy in trap two. Dave Hoofton and Jane Hoofton team up. Jane's already had a couple of winners. And the weight of uh, Amy in the blue is 28.5. Trap three is land down under for Wendy Richards and Paul Clark. A winner of last week. And uh, the weight of uh, land down under is 25.3. Ballydog Candy in four for Mr. S. Carroll and Kevin Hutton. Kevin's had a winner this morning as well. And the weight of trap number four is 29.7. Five next, Leo's Lion for uh, Sue Reynolds and Mr. Bur G. Shelley. Jim uh, Reynolds has had a winner as well. And the weight of uh, Leo in trap five is 30.3. Six is 52 steps for Hazel Kemp, who is the tra owner and trainer. Second runner for Hazel. 52 steps, his weight in the six is 28.8. Next in the green, seven, Jazz Jake for Mr. P. Bozzer, Mr. P. Bridges and Mr. S. Watson. Mark Wallace has had a winner as well. And the weight of Jazz Jake in trap number seven is 33.6. And eight in the uh, yellow and black halves. Energized Honey, Mr. P. Uh, Casimir uh, Makrovsky is the owner. Mark Wallace is the trainer. And the weight of Honey is 28.6. They're the runners contesting uh, race uh, number six here. And the betting reads like this. Laylin Ted in trap one, five to one. Dunham Amy in the blue is the favorite at five to two. Land Down Under is five to one. Bally Dog Candy in trap number four at seven. Leo's line in the orange vest is a six to one chance. Fifty two steps at fours. Jazz Jake is five to one. And Energize Honey, Mark Wallace got the bottom pair. The uh, Energize Honey dog in the yellow and black is six to one. So down the card it is five, five to two, five, seven, six, four, five, and six to one. Trap number eight. They're on their way towards the start here for this uh, next race. It's race number six. It's due off at eleven twenty nine. We have two minutes left for that in two minutes. Here we go, runners tucked away for race number six here. Won't be too long. Gemma's going to check us over shortly for their sixth race here. There's a bet with your local independent bookmaker stakes. So all tucked away. Gemma's happy. We're ready to go. Race six here, race seven, the grade. Not a winning favourite inside at the moment here at Toaster. Donna Mame has got that uh, tag today. Jane Hoofton's had two winners. Can she make it three? We shall see. Racing gets out really well. There's Dunham Amy, an early starter. Bang up there, five Leo's Lion. They're the leader. And the green now, Jazz Jake is coming to join the leaders. Around they go, second bend now. They race on, get in the run. Also, Energize Honey out wide. Seven, a marginal leader, Jazz Jake. Here's the third bend. Jazz Jake for Mark Wallace, leading. Eight in second, Energize Honey. The Wallace pair in first and second places. Seven, eight, five. And they're followed by three running on. But it's seven, Jazz Jake out in front for Mark Wallace. And it's going to be a Wallace forecast and wins its fifth race. Seven beats eight and three. Six Six four one five to the back marker. we go let's see the replay of race number six here it's been a lucky number seven and we had today four of them today 
Well, it's a replay of this one. Got out really well, the favourite Dunham Amy, but there was about three or four going to head to head right to the first bend. Two marginal Dunham Amy was now been joined here by uh, Jazz Jake, and Jazz Jake the Brindle uh, came swinging round. Jazz Jake out in front. Eight Energize Sunny, the Wallace pair. Five in the queue, Leo's line. Three run on late uh, doors, land down under. And then came six, one, two, and right uh, at the back was the blue. But up front, though, it was Jazz Jake for Mark Wallace. Gets his second winner. It was seven, eight, and three. Jazz Jake wins and wins its fifth race on its CV. Here we go. It's in the closing stages of uh, race number six there. And there's been a good trap. There's uh, the green, the puce colour today. Four wins from seven. Uh, Wallace getting a couple of those, and he's had two winners. So the full order finish of race number six, red like this. It was 783, 64152. 783, 64152. Uh, the winning margins were two lengths, one and a quarter, two and a quarter, one length, half, one and a quarter. And again, one and a quarter. That's three lengths, one and a quarter, two and a quarter, one half, one and a quarter, and one and a quarter again. What a time for Jazz Jake, who's now uh, chalked up five victories. Well done to the owners, Mr. P. Uh, P uh, J.P. Bozza, Mr. P. Bridges, and Mr. S. Watson. Mark Wallace gets his second win. That uh, Greyhound has now won five times or less in a time of 28.83. Starting price of the winner was five to one. Second uh, energized honey for a Wallace forecast, six to one. And land down under was third at five to one. Seven, eight, three, five, six, and fives. And that's what happened in race number six.
Here we go. Runners coming on parade for race number uh, seven here. A6 the Great, full of toast of grounds on Facebook states. And here are the runners. Trap one is Miss Eastwood. Owned by Mr. M. Phil and Mr. M. Hill. Have a Dimmock is the trainer of this bitch. And the weight of Miss Eastwood is 28.2. Calco Swift in blue for the Calco Cup syndicate team. Mark Wallace been in good form. He's had two winners. And this bitch's weight, Calco Swift, is 25.7. Three next, Magical Dougie for the Westfield Racing Club team and Kevin Hutton. Kevin Hutton's had a winner today and Dougie's weight in three is uh, 35.3. Four next, Lily's Bear for Wendy Richards and Paul Clark. Uh, weight of Lily's Bear in the black vest is 34.5. Five next is Jazz Jade. Now, Jazz Jade, owned by Mr. P. Uh, J. Bo uh, Bozza. Uh, Mr. P. Bridges and Mr. S. Watson, they had the winner of the last race uh, in the other Mark Wallace run-up, and uh, Mark Wallace has had a couple today, and Jazz Jade's weight is 26 kilos. All about news in Trap Dunham Owen for the Dunham Racing Club team. Jane and Dave have been in good form, two winners already, and the weight of Dunham Owen in the seven is 34.1. Eight is Wood Chief, Steve Rayner owns some trains, and Wood Chief's uh, weight is 32.6. They're the runners, contesting race number seven, 1148. It is uh, due off. In three minutes' time, three minutes. Here's the bet in. Trap one is Miss Eastwood at seven to two. Trap two, Calco Swift at five. Magical Ducky, three sixes. Four Lilies Bear, also sixes. And Jazz Jade is a six to one chance as well. Devil appeared again. Five to two, all about news. That's our favourite in trap number six here for. Uh, Steve Rayner, Dunham Owen in the seven is nine to two, and Wood Chief is eight down the card. Seven to two, five, six, 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 five to two, nine to two, and eight to one. Due off soon in what two minutes time? Two minutes left for betting. Here we go, runners about to enter the starting traps now. They're going in for race number seven here. Won't be too long. All about news, the favourite here in the uh, stripes. Five to two chance. Here we go, Gemma to check us over. We're ready to go. Race number seven, full of toast to Greyhounds on Facebook stakes. Winner's has been hard to find. How you been doing, Clarky? Favourite, no favourite so far. All about news, though, is today here in the stripes. Ready, racing and away. Pretty good start by two. Calco Swift leads and one on the fence, though, Miss Eastwood. Miss Eastwood now goes on. So Red will lead around the second corner. Miss Eastwood out in front for Heather Dimmock. Leading the pack here by a good what three lengths clear. Three magical Duggars in the queue. Kevin Hutton's runner there, followed by seven Dunham Owen. Here's the third bend. One with three now beginning to get a little bit nearer. Magical Duggy has had ten wins on its CV, the three. But one, Miss Eastwood has seen him off. Another ten winner here. 
is the blue to come and get them right to the line and two calco swift has got there mark wallace at the treble gets up to win does it well and wallace's rudder has now won 10 times calco swift Here we go. It's a replay of race number seven, the 11.48. Nice start by uh, Calco Swift and that blue vest. But look at one, Miss Eastwood. She uh, came through to take up, uh, take it up. Uh, just any hard luck stories behind. Well, six and eight was right at the back there, Wood Chief. And meanwhile, one had a good lead, Miss Eastwood. And it needed something to fly. Look where the winners come from. Calco Swift, uh, this bitch uh, looking for win number 10. She's gone from, what, fourth place to third and chase hard. Uh, Miss Eastwood was a sitting duck for the blue. And right in the end, Calco Swift wins. Mark Wallace gets his third winner. Two beats, one and three. And then came seven, uh, four and eight. But we'll confirm that shortly. Here we go, the full order finish for uh, race number seven. It read like this, 213-784-65. Uh, That's 213-784-65. Uh, the margins were a short head, one length, three, one, short head, one and a half, and two and three quarters. Short head, one, three lengths, one, short head, one and a half, two and three quarters. Winner's time was a 28.86, 28.86 for the winner there, Calco Swift. Mark Wallace gets his third winner today, Calco Swift winning. And well done to the Calco Cup Syndicate team and winning at odds of 5-1. to one. Miss Eastwood was second in the red at 7-2. to two. Matthew Dougie was third in three at 6-1. to 2-1-3, 5-7-2 and 6-1, to 28.86. Well, it's a winner's time for uh, race uh, number seven.
we go. Our final race is coming upon us. A 12.04 bet with the three W Star Sports Bet uh, Co.UK Stakes. And here are the runners. Trap number one is uh, Tracle Star. Tracle Star zone by Wendy Richards, trained by Paul Clark. And the way to Tracles is 24.8. Stormy Dexter in the blue for Mr. A. Williams and Heather Dimmick is the trainer in the weight, 33.2. Uh, Wisin Brody in three for Jim Reynolds, who owns and trains. Jim's had a winner today, and the weight of Trap 3, Wisin Brody, is 26.9. Uh, Dunham Charity for Dave Hurfton and Jane Hurfton. Jane's had two winners today, and Dunham Charity's weight is 27.7. Five next is Forrest Delboy for the Hat Pack team, and uh, Forrest Delboy is owned by Paul, uh, trained by uh, Paul Clark, and Forrest Delboy's weight is 34.7. Trap six, Obara Sand for the UEA Racing Club team and Jim Reynolds. And the weight of uh, Obara Sand is 26.6. The seven next, Kilbride Lucy for Mr. Uh, C. Pocknell. Gene Lowes is the trainer. And the weight of Lucy in seven is uh, 27.9. And trap eight is Mill Stinger. Mill Stinger for this time next year team. Gene Lowes is the trainer. And the weight of Mill Stinger is 31.3. They're the eight runners contesting race number eight, our final one on the matinee card today. And seeing that the favourite is in red, Trey Cool Star on offer at five to two, three time winner for Wendy Richards, who owns, and Paul Clark, the trainer. Stormy Dexter in blue, nine to two, was in Brody in three for Jim Reynolds, the ground that's won a couple of races this pitch, and she is three to one. Dunham Charity in trap number four is five to one. Forrest Delboy in the uh, orange vest. On offer at sixes for Paul Clark, who's got one as well. Obara Sand for Jim Reynolds. Jim's runner uh, in the stripes is six to one. She's also got Wizzy Brody who's threes. And Jean Lowe's got a couple. She's got Kilbride Lucy in trap seven. And that one is put in at eight to one. And the eight, Mill Stinger, her other runner, is seven to one. So down the card it is five to two, nine to two, three, five, six, six, eight, and seven to one. Won't be long now for uh, our final race. Due off in two minutes' time, two minutes of the off. Here we go for the last time today. Gemma's going to check us over. It is race number eight here. Now the favourite in trap number one here, Trey Cool Star, where are three races? So we wait for confirmation. Gemma's checking us over thoroughly here. Great work by you, Gemma. The hair is on the move. We're ready to go, race number eight. No jollies at all of one. Seven's been lucky. Red's the favourite Traco star here for Paul Clark. Bunny comes round towards the boxes, racing and away. Good start by Ford Dunham. Charity leads early doors. One's now trying to get up on the inside. That'll be uh, Traco Star. Traco Star now comes right the way through. Ben two goes on. Traco Star now being headed here by Forrest Delboy's come swinging here. So Forrest Delboy now goes on. The Paul Clark forecast at the moment. Five leading one. Six is in the queue. Obara Sand. They're turning for home here. And Forrest Delboy here. Paul Clark trying to got him at the moment. Traco Star trying to bounce back. It could be a Clark forecast. Let's see. Five Five, all tight for the places. Seven flew in the end. Let the judge sort out the minors, but no doubt about the winner. It's Forrest Delboy who wins, and Paul Clark gets the winner of the last.
Here's the replay of our final race. Not been a favourites day today. Got out really well done on Charity and Lead. And watch one, though, Traco Star. And managed to um, manoeuvre its way round and take the lead. But look at the kennel mate here. Forrest Delboy here for the Hat Pack team. And Paul Clark had the first and second of this stage. Sixes was running on. That was a bar of sand. And watch the seven. Uh, Kilbride Lucy. She comes off the pace now to get a, a place in the uh, one, two, three. And here's where five led. Trakelstar tried. Here came the six and the seven. In the end, seven. Kilbride Lucy has got off for second. And Trakelstar back in third. Five, seven, one. Paul Clark gets the winner of our last race in truck number five. Here we go. We're just seeing the last knockings of our final race on the matinee card uh, today. And it was a nice performance by Forrest Delboy. Went on to win. Done it well for uh, Paul Clark. Just seen off Trakels in the end who got headed by Kilbride Lucy. And the full order of finish for race number eight read like this. It was 5-7-1. The margins one and three quarters a neck, a head, three quarters, five and a quarter head and three. That's uh, one and three quarters a neck, a head, three quarters, five and a quarter head and three lengths in a time of 29.19, 29.19. Uh, went under Paul Clark and the Hat Pack team. They got the winner of the last in trap five at six to one. Kilbride Lucy win seven, was second at eight to one. And Traco Star was third, the five to two favorite. Five, seven, one was the one, two, three, six, eight, and five to two favorite in the time of 29.19. So that concludes our meeting for the matinee, which part two a little bit later on. It's a cracking card tonight, of course. Finder of the Lowther Stakes. We've got the uh, Greyhound uh, Toaster uh, graded welfare derby, of course. Two semi-finals coming up. We have plenty of opens, 260 over the hurdles, the marathon two, and we'll be back, of course, uh, tonight Plenty of decent racing. Hope to see you tonight. Safe journey home. We'll see you soon.